Hello, everyone. My name is Edith, also known as the Lady E, and welcome to the Lady E Effect podcast. Today, I'm very excited, as you all know, and for those that have watched my previous episodes, I love to get right into it. Um, I am super excited for all the guests that come on our show and just share so much insight, value, and wisdom to our audience. So, of course, today is nothing different from that. So, Thank you so much for joining us. I'm going to give you the floor and let us know who you are and please introduce yourself. Thank you so much, Lady E, for giving me this moment and this time to have a moment to talk with you. And of course, with the people who will be watching us uh, now and later. Uh, my name is Wilson Kanye. Uh, I am a father. And of course, I am a husband of two gentle to uh, kids, one who is uh, a man and another one who is a lady. And of course, they have reached to puberty level. And I'm happy about them. Uh, married to one wife. I am 49 years old. I've got three uh, brothers and uh, I've got my parents are still alive. I thank God for that. Mm -hmm. I always see them. And I'm happy to see them aloud and I'll continue appreciating God for that. Working, I have worked in several places. I literally worked in different corporate firms, but at the moment I'm working as life health and wellness consultant. And that's why I'm here today to interact with people across the world so that together we can talk and share our good things and the purpose of living and the purpose of living and of course the purpose of living once again. Back to you. Amen. Well, thank you so much for joining us. Definitely super excited to get into it. So I want to go ahead and start off with the first question. As you have mentioned, you are a husband and father, which is absolutely a blessing. The Lord talks about that at the beginning of his word. Um, as soon as Adam and Eve were made, they were husband and wife. So there is definitely power in union and marriage, and especially being a father as well. Um, all of those key elements um, are super, super important. So if you don't mind sharing with us um, a brief summary about your experience as a husband and a father and how that is important and critical in today's time. Well, good question and good concern that I can share with you. First and foremost, being a father, being a husband, being a man is a gift from God. Because from the word go, no one chose to be either a man or a woman, but God decided to do that. So he made and he came up with our own in his mind so that we can invest and manifest his kingdom on earth in those two aspects. Being a father and a man is less responsibility of making sure that I am able to provide, I am able to protect, and I'm also able to give prayers. Those three Ps, uh, protect, provide, and give prayers. Because we always connect to God through prayers many times. And man was given a special uh, way to do that. From the word go, we can always lead from the Bible and find how God interacted with man from the word go. From Adam, Abraham, Isaac, uh, Joseph. Jesus, you can name all those men. This is why a man is so important to be a husband who can build up and bring a family, which is also going to do exactly the will of God. So a man, a husband, is to convey and to take over the God's will to the next generation. Beside now today, there are so many uh, family problems First and foremost, it has started with a man because men at times have failed to take responsibilities. And that one I can say without fear uh, or doubt because many men and a, a number of men have failed completely because they have disconnected themselves with the source. Mm -hmm. And the source is not but God himself. Mm -hmm. So when a man realizes that he is connected to the source. And that's why you can always go to the Bible and find why was Moses always going to God? Why was he going to God in several occasions? Because God realized and knew very well that he needed him 
and God and also Moses needed God in that aspect. So uh, to say for sure is very important and very, very, very good to understand that. So once we know that man is a special being, then from man, a woman came. And we know very well the story from Genesis, how man was first created. And then after some time, he felt so lonely. God found sympathy and mercy for him. He lay down, he lay man down, and from him he sleep, he created a woman. So a man should also protect a woman because a woman is still part of man. So yeah. the next thing that comes between them is the children. And when the kids blossom up, it means that a man should take a responsibility of the whole family, wife, and of course, the kids in, in all areas, either in education, health, uh, catering, social, spiritual, name them. That's what a man should be and much more than a cannot be able to complete a day's program. That is spot on. That is an amazing answer. Um, that there is nothing but truth in that. Everything starts with the Lord. And when he was intentional about creating us in the likeliness of his image, man and woman, there are responsibilities and commandments and requirements that men and women have, but it did start with the man. And I love the fact as a husband, a father, a man of God, and the blessings that the Lord has propelled you to be in areas of business and entrepreneurship, you never forget that it starts with him. You cannot do anything without him. And once you keep him where he is first, then there is nothing impossible for you to do on his earth, as the Bible states many different times. And I love the fact that you used many different of God's people, examples of God's people from Moses, from, you know, even Joshua and David and Solomon and um, Isaiah, Jeremiah, um, Ezekiel. There are so many men of God that, you know, they had the blessing and the pleasure to walk with the Lord. And although we are in today's time, that's nothing different. So thank you for sharing that because that's super important for men to remember to keep God first and know that as you, as well as us as women too, learn how to follow the wisdom and discernment and commands of the Lord. There is nothing that is impossible for us to be able to receive, let alone perform and practice on his earth. So that is such a wonderful and necessary statement. And I do pray and hope that the audience is able to receive that and apply that moving forward. So if we can shift a little bit, um, as you share with us, you are in the space of business and entrepreneurship. That is something that we also like to highlight on our platform. So if you would like to share with us um, some of the areas in your current space of practicing um, in the a area of business and entrepreneurship. If you could please share um, some more insight in regards to that and let the audience know more of what you do and how relevant that is, especially in today's world, the present time and moving forward in the future. Uh, thank you once again for this uh, question and this statement I'm going to make today. When I thought about the family, I thought about love. There are two commandments that God said, love your neighbor, love your God and love your neighbor. Mm -hmm. If you don't do that, we are short of his glory. Mm -hmm. Then the first institution that God created is family and marriage. So today, as I was reading and researching, I found that many people work so much time they spend so much time in their workplace. And uh, rather than they should work for to spend most of their time with the family, they should find a way to work so that they can find time for the family. And what do I mean by that? I mean exactly that because family is not only the man, the woman, or husband and wife and kids. is a, a sable. I would call it a sable of unity and love. If there is love in that family and unity, then it is replicated to other areas like society and church and, the, and, and of course the country and the whole world. 
So, but again, today you find that many families have fallen apart. They are not even working well. They have disintegrated. You cannot find a good family. Uh, actually, the, the percentage of uh, failing family is very alarming. Mm -hmm. Now, I that and I found it's very important to find a, a, a business or a job or a work which can bring family together. Yes. You have realized that many people are out working many hours. Kids are growing without even knowing their parents well. Mm. But now, it is something that is going to deter the purpose as to why God created us. So once I came and realized that there is uh, an opportunity that can uh, be absorbed by family members, starting with father and mother, so that they can have more time with their kids, with their, with, with their uh, family members. Then I found the reason as to why I should do it and I should let other people know this. I deal with health and wellness, nutrition, and of course, life coach. Meaning that there is nothing as good as living long in health. You go back again to Bible, you find that like many men or many people lived over 100 years, 200 years, even up to 900 years. Mm -hmm. But they were still strong. They used to live healthy life for long because they had a purpose and they had a reason for their family as well. And of course, to bring the love that God made together. So when I noticed that, I realized that the only concept that can bring family together is the one that has love. And I partnered with an organization called Forever Living Products. This organization, when I studied it very well, I found it has got that concept of uniting and first bringing the, the loved one together. Then after bringing the loved one together, then they go out and bring their friends and then the circle continue growing. And apart from bringing family together to work from home and even to their uh, uh, areas, they build up health. Because if you are spending so much in sickness, then you'll find you are not spending time with God. You are not spending time with family members and people. So God designed us to remain healthy not to get sick, but because of few things here and there, we find ourselves falling sick, and definitely, you'll find the reason as to why we fall sick is the kind of life we live. I am truly such, 90% of the diseases that we get is because of the life that we are living today. So it means we can correct it, meaning yeah. we can have more time with our family, we can have more time in preaching and uh, 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 evangelizing the word of God. We can have more time into even thinking and working for him. Because God is not for the sick. God is for the healthy people. Amen. And if that, we also need to identify what is it that I can be able to do so that I can follow into having health all the time, into cooperating with my family and the family members, and of course, living long enough so that we can have enough time to proclaim and to manifest God's kingdom on earth. So that is what I am currently doing. And it is so wide that we can continue interlinking here and there, even after this interview, so that we can get to know better what it entails. Well, amen to everything you said. We appreciate you sharing that. I love that you're in the the field of healthcare, you're in the field of health and wellness, as well as primarily nutrition. That is something that God absolutely blessed us with. First and foremost, the nourishment of his living word. At times as children of God, we forget that God's word is not just words on a paper um, or on a piece of paper. Um, God is... God, his spirit is a living spirit. There's no death in his spirit. There's no evil. There's no lies in his spirit. And his word is a living word. So that is where our nourishment comes first. Uh, Jesus also said when he was tempted 
um, I believe in the book of Matthew, men shall not live by bread alone, but every word that proceedeth out of God's mouth. And God has also blessed us with the right nutrition and natural superfoods that we need to be able to incorporate so that we can be able to have the blessing to live a long life, as you mentioned in biblical times, which we're still in now. You know, many people live for hundreds of years. So whether you're 87 or 93 or 62, those are not old ages at all. And when we make it a necessity to follow God first and we incorporate his commandments because his commandments are designed to prolong our lives, not shorten it. So there's a gift in obedience to God because he gives us all the tours we need to be able to be beyond successful. Um, you can't have success without a healthy lifestyle and you cannot have a longevity um, life without nutrition. So I love the fact that that's something that is primarily what you focus on and it blesses you with the opportunity to spend more time with your family and be in a more united place with your family, let alone the community, which is super important. That's what God designed. We are the body of Christ. We, the people of the body of Christ. And as we educate one another and learn and learn to unlearn a lot of harmful information that's designed to destroy us if we don't follow the word of God, then we can be able to live long and strong and healthy and wealthy lives because God is the father of health and wealth, let alone the father of life that gives life to all of his creations. So I love the fact that you're in the space of nutrition, wellness, and health, because now more than ever, especially we know with, you know, the sicknesses that have taken place in the last couple of years and just in general, the hardships that people have, whether it's a mental thing or a physical thing or spiritual or emotional thing, most importantly, having the word of God as our foundation, as well as the nutritional gifts that he's given us on this earth to utilize, it absolutely prolongs your life. And when you have a healthier life, you can be able to give to people better. So that is super important. And you're definitely um, welcome to come on our future uh, episodes to share more about that because nutrition is definitely part of the foundation of our company. And now more than ever, especially as we transition into the new season and time, it is so critical and pivotal to discuss health and discuss health from a natural nutritional perspective that goes far beyond most of the things that we've been taught. So thank you so much for touching bases on that. So I have about two more questions for you before we close out our segment. So as far as everything that you touched, which has been so spot on, and I love the fact that you're driven by biblically based commandments of the Lord. That's why you're able to be as you know healthy as you are and be blessed to have an amazing wife and children and family and be, you know, just soaring and pivoting in your uh, professional and entrepreneurship business space. I want to ask you in terms of the future. What is your message to the audience in terms of the future? Thank you so much once again. Uh, my message to audience about the future. The future is so bright. What has happened earlier is not supposed to, de to dedicate or to decide what is going to happen in the future. Okay. Why is it that the future is so bright? It is so bright because one thing, we know where we are headed. I will just give an example. You always are excited if you are going to an exciting place that you know you always have fun. If you are going to a place that you feel it's going not to be excited, you even don't uh, necessarily feel motivated. Why is it that the future is so bright? Because we are destined to conquer. We have gone through so many problems. We have gone through so many trials. We have gone through many challenges in terms of members of a family or individuals or society or even the whole world. But that is not going to lane anymore because the God we know do not create people who are going to suffer and eventually get to nowhere. He created people who he will share the kingdom with. And we have abundance. I always look around 
and especially when I'm looking around where I live. There is so much that we cannot even finish even the next billion years. So I wonder when I see people trying to grab and hold things by themselves, that is being selfish, then forgetting their neighbors, who God said, love your neighbor. He said, love your neighbor because you cannot love God who you can't see mm. if you cannot love your neighbor. Mm -hmm. How mm. fast to learn to love the person who is just next to you. The wonderful thing that happens, you never choose your neighbor. You can choose your friend, mm -hmm. but you cannot choose your neighbor. Why did God not say that you should love your friend? He said you should love your neighbor. Because he knew you are not there to choose. You are just there to follow. That's why if you follow and put the word love, irrespective of what they do to you, irrespective of whether they are coming from which place, which part of the world is not a problem. But the future is bright if we do the correct things. The correct things are take care of our health. This is a temple of the Lord. And Lord created us in his own image and likeness. Mm -hmm. So if we don't do this, what is going to happen to us is that it's going to degrade and eventually die mm -hmm. and get to know them. But the moment we take care of our body, one thing we'll be able to live longer. And after that, we'll also be able to continue manifesting his kingdom on earth. The future is bright to those who choose to do so but it is also dimmed and dark to those who choose to do so. The mm -hmm. choice is in our hands. What are we going to take? Are we going to take love? Are we going to take hatred? Mm -hmm. We take health and take health the correct way, or are we just going to be careless? Mm -hmm. He said, don't take care of his body. He is going to come for late. And mm. you regret why you did not take care of it. So let's go the right way. The right way is always there. We need to learn. We need to educate one another. We need to go deep and share from uh, different areas so that it is going to be true. And I say this, it's never easy. And it is never meant, uh, meant to be easy. It's never meant to be easy. Because we always know the Lord that, that leads to the right is always having problems and so thin and narrow. But the Lord that leads to destruction, it's welcoming. It's having a lot of fun. Nothing wrong with having fun, but let's have fun consciously. Yeah. So that generation, the people that are looking around us, we can also, we can also, they can also be able to adapt. We cannot preach wine and drink water. We need to drink water, fresh water, so that we can live our world. It's as simple as that. We only need to make a choice. That is the point. So as I also say, another one true thing. For things to change, I must change. For things to become better, I must become better. For things to improve, I have to improve. So wake up, smell the coffee, and then take action. And action is nothing else but what we have shared. Amen. That is so amazing and such a beautiful, beautiful, necessary, amazing message to all those that are listening. And we appreciate you sharing that. As I get into the final question, I also want to highlight this. I know we didn't talk about it as much, but I, as an African-American, but African woman, Nigerian, Igbo to be at that, um, I definitely would love for you to share a little bit in terms of being an African man, where you're from. Um, of course, Africa, we are all neighbors. We are all family. We all are the body of Christ. But I definitely believe that that's something to highlight as well in terms of where you're from, um, because, you know, God has blessed us with so many 
areas of gifts and practicing. And of course, we are identified as God's children first. And he has blessed us to have, you know, foreign ethnicity, such as being African. And, you know, there we are blessed to have 54 countries. So if you could share with the audience quickly uh, where you are from, I believe that is something very important to highlight as well. Well, if I got you right, you mentioned that I should highlight where our farm is. Yes, where you're from. Yes. Okay. I'm going back to what I do and what I love doing at the moment. The nutritional, uh, the, the health, the wellness, and the product that we recommend people to use, which I believe is the question you're asking me, our farm is in Scottsdale, Arizona. And then we have got wide range of other small, small farms in different parts of the world, which gathers together this wonderful plant called Babadensis miller. This is a botanical name that is so special amongst many that gives the best out of it, the aloe vera plant. So after it has been uh, taken through several processes for human consumption, then it's ready for anybody to take in any part of this world. So there is always point as to why you can enjoy without even much struggle uh, of getting it in terms of where the plantation is from the source and all. But this is clearly mentioned in our plan or our presentation when we normally do them openly and during the day to everybody to see. So the reason as to why we do this is when we take these aloe vera gel or aloe vera drinks and aloe vera products, they help a lot in even the spiritual aspect. I want to take you back a little bit to the Bible. The children of Israel, they journeyed from Egypt to promised land is through a desert. But in the process of doing that, they had so many challenges which they came across. But in the process of helping them to get to the point that God had promised them, they had to go through several uh, medication. They had to go through using the aloe vera and other good things that God provided for them. Even in the source where they came from, like in Egypt, it's in plenty. We know the pyramid of Egypt. It is so amazing that I was listening and watching another documentary talking about the magical, the miraculous pyramids of Egypt. The way they were created, it shows clearly the work of God. Though it was created in a very professional and very modern, it is not even modern, it's beyond modern understanding. It's absolutely a sign and a mark that God was with those people. And if he was with those people, then we are the generation. So he is still with us. So mm -hmm. if we adapt natural ways of doing these things, then we are closer to investing, we are closer to manifesting his kingdom on earth, and bringing our families together. Amen. Thank you so much for sharing that. That's super important. And I love the fact that in the field of health, wellness, and nutrition, the source of where the products that, and, and just the services that you guys provide to all that applies to, um, it comes back to a biblical source. Aloe vera is something that is beyond ancient. It came from the Lord and it has numerous, numerous benefits inside out um, from your skin to your hair to replenishing areas in your body. So I love the fact that that's something that you all focus on in terms of you and your um, community and network. Uh, it is important and definitely now more than ever, very critical to implicate uh, nutritional, healthy, um, rich and pure ingredients and superfoods into your body. The blessing about the Lord is he's a replenishing God. Um, it is important to 
us going back to everything that you said, the accountability commands and the responsibilities that the Lord has given us in terms of treating our temples better, our minds better, um, and having a healthier lifestyle in order for that to prolong what we put in our system is super important. So we appreciate you sharing that. Um, I have one last question before my last question. So in terms of Africa, what part of Africa are you from? Well, uh, there are several places in South Africa, and basically, I would just mention in South Africa. Okay. At the moment. Okay. Okay. Why South Africa? Because South Africa is quite an extensive, and of course, the environment and a lot of uh, a lot of some of the properties that the organization owns has a base from South Africa. So there is a wide range of plantation in South Africa, which is still going to extend to different parts of the world, uh, Africa part. But the only challenge is that the climatic changes is what deters the distribution and growth of, in other parts of the, the Africa. But that is still in process. It will continue uh, being looked into because we always need and wanted to have we always wanted to be well manifested, well established in Africa, and of course, in other parts of the world. Amen. So we yes. appreciate all of uh, your insight. This has been a phenomenal uh, space to learn a lot about you and just the vision that the Lord has put in you and all of us, but just in areas in terms of health, wellness, and nutrition now more than ever, that needs to be in implicated in all of our lives um, from elders to children, to infants, uh, to adults, uh, health and wealth and nutrition. The foundation of that being in nutrition now more than ever is very critical so if I can close out the last question of the segment, uh, here at Lady Effect, we talk about a lot of many things, which we have talked about so far. So we appreciate all of your insight and all that you shared with us today. I would like to end the last question with purpose um, in terms of the Lord's purpose through you. If you can use the word purpose and God to give a statement to the audience, what would that be? Thank you for that. I would like to mention in purpose a divine and what I have come to learn and believe. The purpose is nothing else but God's kingdom on earth. It's as simple as that. Because if I explain a lot about God's kingdom, it is the whole world and the whole universe. The purpose is nothing else but God's kingdom. From there we came, from there we'll go. So we have been given a chance here on earth to manifest and to show that we deserve God's kingdom. And God is always watching and helping us to do that. So even if you live a health life for long, even if you have the super family, even if you are the best man on this earth, and if you are the best woman on this earth or the best anything, it will all trickle to nothing else but the purpose, which is God's kingdom. We shall we never be anything else, irrespective of the knowledge that we acquire, irrespective of the anything that we do. The purpose is nothing else but God's kingdom. So let's understand, let's work around that. Let's know it. Let's seek. And as the Bible says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and everything else shall be granted unto you. Yes. That is the. Amen. Wow. That is so wonderful. This has been an amazing, amazing time to speak with you. You have blessed us with so much of God's mm -hmm. wisdom and you have blessed us with the glory of God. So um, thank you so much for blessing us today with all of your wisdom, your practicing, sharing your beautiful family and your insight. So uh, for anyone that wants to get in touch with you, um, how would they be able to reach you? 
Thank you for that question. It's very important because we would also to interact with people after this. People can reach uh, to me in different ways. We have got Facebook page that is Wilson TK Trump. That is one way that person can be able to reach to me. Then today there is very easy. You can reach me on WhatsApp because that can be even faster. Mm -hmm. And I can mention WhatsApp number. Is it okay? Mm -hmm. My phone number is plus two five four seven double two four six five five one zero plus two five four seven two two four six five five one zero. You can reach me either video call or maybe voice call or a chat that will be answered even quicker. Then there is other links like LinkedIn, the same name Wilson Tikani, you can find me there. But first you can connect me quick and fast through WhatsApp, which is fast today, the fastest communication uh, platform. Perfect. Well, this has been such an honor and a blessing to have you on our platform. Thank you so much for coming on. You are definitely always welcome to join us for any future content. I'm sure we are going to be having some collaborative encounters with you moving forward. God bless you, your family, and your network and community for all that you all do. And please continue to serve the Lord. So with that being said, thank you all so much for joining us. Again, my name is Lady E. And until next time, we will see you later. Bye. <laughs>